Good day, YouTube. Due to the recent official release of Linux Mint 20, as you can see here, plainly on the left, I thought I'd do a bit of a uh, comparison on the, the hardware usage uh, between, say, Linux Mint here and Fedora 32, version 32 on the right as well. Now, this uh, gets a little bit interesting here, but uh, I will firstly say it's all booted up from scratch. There's nothing else really loaded here, just except for the operating system itself. And uh, probably something else to mention is uh, Linux Mint is running on the default desktop environment of Cinnamon uh, there. And then, of course, you may be used to this one, but GNOME. It's got the GNOME desktop environment on the right for Fedora 32. So uh, this is uh, where I find it to be a bit odd because no matter how many times I reset this computer, this virtual machine that is the... Uh, Fedora 32, it always sits on about a gig of RAM and I just can't seem to get around that. I've tried so many things, but um, hey, it's part of the, the simple test here, so why not? So as you can see, both pretty much idling on the CPU, not doing too bad, jumps ups and downs, but that's okay. On the left, we have about 650 megabytes of RAM for the Linux Mint uh, 20 Cinnamon Edition, which is pretty good. Not too bad, I've seen worse, I've seen better. And then we have uh, a gigabyte of RAM for the Fedora 32 release, which I'm not overly impressed with, which you can probably hear from the sound of my voice. Uh, this used to be the case for uh, certain distributions a few years ago, but they did seem to optimize things quite a bit and allow for a, a, a lower RAM uh, usage. It's, uh, it feels like Windows a bit, where if you boot up Windows from scratch, it's easily using 1.1, 1.3, 1.5 gigabytes of RAM. So I'm not the biggest fan of this. Uh, it is, in this case, really dealt for a higher, um, uh, maybe a better computer, higher specs on a laptop, PC, that kind of thing. But yeah, this is just a, a simple look, guys, at uh, these two operating systems and what we're basically kind of dealing with. So thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button. Thanks for all your time, and I uh, hope to see you there in the next one. Cheers.